Hey guys, Legion here. In this video, I will tell you exactly how to re-roll in Wuthering Waves, as well as how much time it takes and the amount of pulls you can do for each re-roll. Before we get into it, subscribe to the channel to be kept updated with Wuthering Waves content and like the video. Also, just a quick reminder, I'm actually doing a giveaway on the channel right now, giving out 5 free battle passes to my subscribers. So basically all you need to do is subscribe to the channel to be entered and that's it. Alright, so to re-roll in Wandering Waves. Unfortunately, it does not have a guest login option. This means you will need to create a new account for every re-roll attempt, which kind of sucks, but it's easy to create new emails. That is basically the only way though, there are no other ways. You will need to prepare a ton of demi emails if you plan to reroll in this game. But of course, the main factor in rerolling is how much time does it take. It takes around 35 to 45 minutes to finish the tutorial and reach the exact moment you can start pulling. You will have to do the prologue act as tutorial in Wandering Waves, but it's pretty simple. You just have to follow the main quest. Just be sure to not get sidetracked with exploration or other quests, so don't be tempted to explore the map just yet and do any side quests, you can always come back to it. You should only focus the main path first if you want to reroll as fast as possible. So here's how the rerolling process should look like. You log into the game with your new email. You go through the first 35 to 45 minutes of the game tutorial and early story until you unlock the summons, which are called Convene. Then you're doing your pulls. If you don't get anything you want, you can always just simply log out and log in with your new email. And then you can repeat until you get what you want. But now let's talk about the pulls for rerolling. The rates for this game are pretty low. 0.8% chance for a 5 star character, so it might take you even a whole day of rerolling to get that specific character you want. The chance won't be too high as you will be only able to do roughly 20 to 22 pulls when you unlock summons, maybe more if they do give us extra rewards. I would say we should have about roughly 30 pulls because we also have a daily login event that will give us 5 pulls at day 1. I'm not sure if we unlock that right away, but we can expect roughly 30 pulls. One thing to note is you are guaranteed to obtain a 5 star character from the novice convene banner within the first 50 pulls. This is a separate banner from the standard one, basically like the beginner banner, which you don't want to reroll on. You want to only reroll on the standard banner so you can then go to this banner to get your second 5 star. But what about rerolling on the limited banners? Well sadly, the 20 pulls you get from the pre-register rewards are only for the novice banner. So you can't use it at all in the limited banner, it's only for the standard pulls. So if anyone was trying to reroll for Jingyuan, which he seems to be the first limited banner the dragon guy well you can forget about that unfortunately but yeah guys here's how your summons should look like so you do your 20 to 30 pulls on the character permanent banner right after unlocking summoning your aim is to get two five star characters one from the pulls you've done on the standard banner and the other from the novice convene pity the beginner banner within 50 pulls just keep in mind that it might take a lot of tries to get a 5 star from the initial pull since, you know, there's only a 0.8% chance to pull it, and especially for a specific character that you want. But once you pull someone you want, you can keep playing the game on that account and use the illustrious tides you obtain from the missions on the novice convene banner to get that guaranteed 5 star with the other banner. So yeah guys, also um, something you do not want to do at all is to use your premium currency, the Ashtrite, to pull on permanent banners. I know it's tempting at first, you really want to rush for that first 5 star. 
you should only use and save this currency for the limited banners. With this, you can reroll for five different resonators. So we have Varina, Encore, Calcero, Jingxin, and Ling Wang. I wish the best for those attempting to reroll and get your favorite units. For me personally, I am not going to reroll. I'm just going to go with what I get. And we also have some leaks about a character selector banner, which is, is like the standard banner, but you can choose which unit you want after reaching the pity so you'll be able to obtain whatever unit is picked after reaching your first 80 pity or the first five star which seems like the best bet for most people to just snipe their favorite character but let me know in the comments if you will be rolling in wandering waves but that is pretty much all for this video i'm gonna make a separate video to tell you guys which character you should prioritize while re-rolling among these five five stars make sure to subscribe to be kept updated and like the video while you're at it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one